Good morning, SMF MMTs. How about this? Dow Jones, 60-minute chart. This is your SMF platform. I'm going to go to the brain. I'm going to go to the deltas. I'm going to hit 30. Wow, priced it all for me. How about that? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look exactly where the top has been in this time frame. This is where that breakout occurred. Over here. Sliding that bid is what they've been doing at the tops. When this occurs, SMF MMTs, you must be very focused on the VXN, the fear indicator. And in your SMF platform, you'll be able to do just that. Because I already know that you can. And basically, when you have your readings right here on all the names you're going to be watching, the system will tell you, it will talk to you, it will text alert you, it will do everything for you. And you know that price action failure in the brain tells you down here in the info panel. When this bar here, right here, at um, exactly... 11 let's say you know this 5 area 1155 right here 505 it couldn't break up to the 55 that was the next level up and it, and and it's having a look at here at 11505 so that's like 50 almost 50 handles lower uh in price that's why we're starting to see this uh slide that bid action continue and they shoot it right up there and they keep closing below half of that bar at 11472 it's right here mmts and weakness and price momentum your ir you've got a complete historical pattern we can go ahead and click on this button right now look at the gauges whipping boy when them gauges go a certain way that means we're breaking higher in the smf market maker platform and it tells you you're trading the ratios, you're not trading the price. You're trading ascending value and descending value. The price lines are populated by the platform in advance before the market even opens. Ha ha, look at how accurate they are. One cycle has price momentum, breakout momentum, and topping formation and price action slide to bid right here. 11,495. 11,495 is the uh, secondary resistance. This We're going to have to deal with this bar right here, and that's 11,472 on the Dow. This bar here, this is the outer bar, but this is going to be where you've got to get price action that blows through it. Then when it pulls back, it sets up another buy action momentum price action momentum buy bar and then bam you're ascending if you're not doing that mmt then what you need to do is that when they start to slide that price you need to get net short use your info panel down here if you put your bar on here it's going to tell you in the info panel in your market maker panel that's you trading against the public It tells you. So basically, what I am going to say, until I have a closing price above this half action bar right here, 11,495, anything that goes up there, including equities related in the Dow or different instruments, the broader market means in price action is that you're going to sell off and you're going to slide that bid. They've been doing it eight days in a row. And this is a 60-minute chat on the Dow.